Hello, my name is Asuna Vox, and welcome to my Let's Play of Destiny of an Emperor. This is an RPG, and it came out in 1989, and it was produced by Capcom. It wasn't brought to the U.S. until 1990, if I remember correctly. This game actually follows more along the lines of... Well, if you ever played Dynasty Warriors, it follows the same structure, the Warring States period. This is the game that originally got me into Chinese history and my fascination with that with that series of games, Dynasty Wars. Of course, it's not going to be 100% accurate because there are limitations and this is for the N Nintendo Entertainment System. So do keep in mind memory, memory limitations for this game. Now then, it, as you saw, it is going through the intro, and now it's going to show us some important characters for this time this time period. I will most likely be butchering their names, but I will do my best. Because it's kind of hard sometimes to get it, because, you know, different dialects, and this is translate, excuse me, from Chinese. Just listen to that music. For NES, this is really good. And I like this a lot. I wonder if there's any OC remixes about this. I'll have to check into that later. But, uh... Oh, yeah. There is a large community of people out there for Destiny Emperor that really enjoy this game. Now, one of the things, though, that you need to know is that, like, as you see this guy's name here, uh, Yan Shu. If you look up Lord Yan Shu you can actually find the community. They also do a bunch of other stuff for this game as well. Like, they made a hard mode for this game, and people have made mods for this game so you can play as, like, the different kingdoms. If you're familiar with Dynasty Warriors, you know the three kingdoms, Shu, Wei, and Wu. There are mods out there where, you could, where people have made it where you can play as Wu and Wei, and as different uh, of the generals out there. Like, you can play as, like, the Yellow Scarves, you can play as Dong Zhu, and Blue Boo. And they even made some where you can play as, like, I think, uh, Uliasu? I'm not good at Nunciato, but if you play Samurai Warriors, it lets you go through that as well. I will try and remember to add a link for Lord Yuan Shu in the description. If not, I will do my best to remember to. <laughs> but as it also states here, this is based on records and, you know, of that time frame. So, you know, sometimes it might not be correct. Or as accurate as you want to. But do keep in mind, this is Nintendo. Let's start the game. As you can see, when you start, you know, game start, register history, that's actually how you bring stuff up. Because there are three three files, but as you see, it only gets two. I was doing some playtesting and checking the audio and everything. And whatnot. But we'll start off at number two. And see, register is how you do it. Game start is how you pick what book you want. Erase. Let's like. Eh, I don't care for this one anymore. And and Bob wants to play. Eh, let's delete it and have him do it. And copy. It lets you make up a backup copy. That way, if you're like, I've never made it this far in this game. This game's awesome. I hope I don't lose my save file. It's like I don't need this one. You can delete it and just copy them all over onto Tune Three so you don't lose it. Well, let's register. As I said, my name is Asuna Fox. I got that name... Well, I made that name when I was playing World of Warcraft. I was making a priest, and I wanted to get a name that stood out. I didn't want to be like, Jim Bob the Conqueror, 15 on like out of like 15 different realms. It was like, I want to be the only one. Don't you... Please do not use my name elsewhere. I've been playing lots of different games using this. I do not want to have to make up a new one. Now then, let us start. Let's see, start as a streamer box. You have three different speeds for the text in the game. I recommend going with fast, because it's the easiest. EDM, it's okay, but I'd rather go a bit faster since I have I know how the dialogue goes and mechanics and battle work. Slow is really slow. I don't recommend it. As you can see, we are sprite-based. Oh, hey, look! That actually is some pretty good artwork. 
this here is actually their peach garden oak. It is actually very well done for it. Let's see. Let us go. Hmm, yellow scarves. Oh, we can't let that happen. We are the direct descendant of the Emperor. Hey, maybe we get to be the king! <laughs> yeah, right. Like that's going to happen. Let's see, we should go to Castle Taquin. Looking for people to volunteer and help stop them. Let's see, okay, we've been trained, we know how to do it, and we should bring back peace to the land. Because we fight for justice. Let's see, what do you have to say? Now go some. Okay, apparently this is Mother. Now that there are... As this being Nintendo, there's not a whole lot of buttons in the game. So, you know, the uh, directional pad, B, A, select start. Let's go over the buttons real quick. Left, right, up, down. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, B is to cancel. It actually brings up your command menus. You know, there's talk. Check lets you uh, check different spots in in the area, like if you're on a treasure chest, or they tell you, hey, check this spot so you can get this item, so you can do something. That's how you do it, you check. Like this, we search, nothing found. Formation, there's order and strat. Order, as it basically is, lets you put them in whatever order you want. Currently, I'm going to leave it as is, or it's Lube, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. Strat, I'll go over that, what becomes pertinent. And general, actually, goes over your character stats. Like Blue Bay, as you can see, shows them your character portrait, their name, how many soldiers, what their equipment tactics are, and their stats. Important thing to remember, though, about strength and intellect: the highest you can have in this game is 255. Everyone is set for what they have. Like Blue Bay, he's always going to have 180 strength, always going to have 225 intellect. One thing to know about him: he is very strong. He has 180, he can hit pretty reasonably well, he has 225 in luck, he can cast spells very easily in this game. Now then, the thing about spells, they're called tactics in this game. I will be using them interchangeably, because that's how I am. Now then, AP, AC, and TP is attack power, armor class, and tactic points. Tactic points is what the max amount of tactic points you, this character has available to them. Do keep in mind, if you, uh, eat that, uh, you have to set a strategist for this. That's what the strat was when I under formation. You said who your strategist is. We're not going to have one now because he has no tactics. But the thing is, 8 TP, tactic points, that is his max currently that he can use. Now let's check out our other characters. Guan Yu, 245 strength, 180 intellect. He hits very damn hard and he is very smart. He can use spells very easily in this game and he can defend spells pretty easily. The way spells work in this game is it checks your intellect against theirs. There's also a bit of a random number generator in there, so even though he has 180, let's say he you run up against someone with like 35 intellect, it is a very high chance that you're going to hit them with that spell. It's a very low chance that they they will be able to dodge it because you can miss uh, spells in this game, but most likely you're going to hit them. So, like, say, what you find someone that has 255 intellect, you're fighting against them, they have a really good chance of hitting you, but you have a very poor chance of hitting them. Unless you, you know, yeah, you're really high. But, Guan Yu, he is one of the best characters in the game. Now then, Zhang Fei, 250 strength. He will hurt people. So, if you get a new weapon that is better than anything else you got, give it to him, he will wreck face. Thing about his intellect, though, he is not a good tech person to use tactics or spells with. He will most likely get hit by every one, every spell. Unless he has more in, more intellect than the other person. But for the most part, he is going to be getting hit by spells, but he will wreck people's face when he attacks. Now then, let's wander around. Now then, as standard RPG rule goes, talk to everyone. Let's see, yellow scars are butchering people, we have to stop them. You can also talk to the animals. It's a horse, yay! And let's see what this guy has to say. Let's see. I am no more, but he's a merchant. Okay. Are you gonna sell me stuff? Oh, he wants to give us stuff. Ooh, 200 gold, 1,000 rations. That is good. Let's see. Who are these people? Sprite flickering. Let's see. 
Sung Min and Sung Young, okay. No, I don't want to join you. I want to see what the other guy has to say. Let's see a little bit. Sung Young, Sung Min, okay. They say the exact same thing. They want to join us. You have to get them both. If you only want one, tough luck. But let's talk to everyone. Never home. Oh, he's not home. Hey! Different music. Do give mine different music for different stuff. That is basically the shop music you heard. Well, let's talk, finish talking to everyone. I start going over some more of the stats. You sure like Lube. Okay. First, you need to get a badass helmet like me. As you saw under General. Look at that helmet. It's a very nice helmet. Okay. Uh, but as I was doing earlier, General, let's take a look at our other people. Song Yang. <laughs> 60 strength, 40 intellect. He is by far the worst character in the game. But he's a meat shield. He's just there for another space. Not a big deal. Song Ren. 80 strength. He is stronger. He has a lot more intellect. Over double than Song Yang, but he's nothing special. He's okay. He's actually okay for this area. I just wish he had more sol soldiers. But not a big deal. Now let's do this before we leave town. Item. Let's show you equipment and what you have. I'm going to equip the dagger first because I want to show you something. Let's see. Flail and a robe. There are two types of armor in this game. Chest piece, like the robe, and the helmet, which we can... We could buy, but I'm not really worried about armor for now. There is a point later when I will buy armor, but for now, I wouldn't do it. If this is your first time going through this, you might want to look into it, but I don't think it's a big deal. Okay, now then. Lube, dagger, 10 AP, 10 attack power. Wan Yu, flail on a rope, 15 attack power, 20 armor class. The flail is much better. But one of the things, though, is I want to equip him with the flail. And let's give the dagger to Song Ren. He actually has better strength out of everyone that else. Give it to him. Actually, let's show this off now. As I said, you can have a strategist that lets you cast spells. Let me show you this. Song Ren. Let's see, let's go Lu Bei. Song Young, Song Ren. I'll have Song Ren on the third. I was not expecting that. But... Ooh. This is not what I was hoping for, but we have a boss at the very first fight. One step outside of town. I'll go over this. Okay, you know, battle is fight. Tactics are cast spells. If we had any, defend is defend. Item is choose items. Here's one thing, though. As your leader, they have seven abilities, seven choices. Let's see, you pick one. Oh, the next person only has four. That's because your leader only ha is the only one that has seven. So let's say Lu Bei dies, Song Yang would be the next one to have all these. Now then, here's an important thing to know about this. We have the report uh, ability here. If you use it, it'll tell you how strong he is. As you can see, he has 20 strength, 30 intellect, and then 20 AP, 25 AC. He's as strong as Song Ren, but he's really dumb. He has no, very little intellect. thing, though, is he has a good weapon, and he has a pretty decent amount of soldiers. One of the things we could do is just do all out, and everyone will be just be attacking random. You're, if you do all out, you're, your side will do nothing but battle, and it'll be random. You have no choice in it. Now then, let's say the other side has someone that can cast tactics, spells. They still can do that. We do not. But this is what I want to do for this fight. I want everyone to battle against Hanzong. Because there are thresholds in this game. Soldier thresholds. Ah, okay. As you saw there, Zhang Fei and Guan Yu both did 27. Liu Bei did 20. And... okay. Guan Yu took 14 points of damage. This will be very important in just a moment. And let's see. That heavy damage, that doo -doo -doo. that's basically a critical hit. Okay, and as you saw, Guan Yu Zhang Fei were both doing 27. This is what happens because of the threshold now. He does 13 now, he does half the damage. There's a re The reason behind this is because there's a certain soldier threshold in this game. You're, I'll say soldiers and HP interchangeably. 
one of the things to know is, though, if you have a hundred soldiers or more, you do currently you'll do full damage. If you have 99 or less, like Guan Yu and Zhang they have now, they're they're at 99 or lower, they do half damage. Let me show you how all how it works now. Part of the reason why I want to do. Uh, let's see, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Oh well. Oh yeah, one of the things I want to point out. As you saw, I put Song Ren in the third spot, but now he's at the bottom. That's because when you make a strategist, you summon a strategist, and they're able to, it puts him at the very bottom of your party order. The thing is, though, is you have uh, options of... Well, you can only have five people in battle at one time. So let's say one of your guys die here. Well, it's not like they go away and someone else comes in. They're still there, just that you'll only have four active people. But, let's say... Let's see, who's the lowest? Guan Yu. Let's say Guan Yu dies, and we have another person that's uh, not in battle, like our 6th or 7th. 7th's the highest number of people you can have on hand at one time, but only 5 battle. Let's say in this battle, Guan Yu died. He died. We'd only have 4 people in the battle attacking. If we get into another battle, Guan Yu would be replaced by someone else. Zhang Fei, Song Ren would be pushed up, and whoever is at the bottom would be pushed up. Song Ren would still be at the bottom, though. But... Uh, no one's dead, so we don't have to worry about that. But it always puts him at the bottom. Let's see. Oh, as you see, we have a thousand food. If we did not have any food, we didn't talk to that guy. I'm going to take Song Ren off, because I want him higher up in the order. Let's start moving around. Took some steps. Our food went down. One of the important things to know about this game is they want, we're kind of going for a bit of realism on there. So if you have, like, if all these, uh, if your max HP is actually soldiers you're wandering around, you need food for everyone. If you do not have any food, your soldiers start dying, or you start losing them, and at that point, mm, consider it like this. Everyone has no... Let's see. Not, but not, yeah, let's see that consider that everyone is poisoned, you have no, you, there's no, no such thing as antidotes, and the only way to get rid of the poison effect is to have food on hand. It will, it's also called rations in this game. As I said earlier, it said he had a thousand rations, and but in, here it says food. Now then, I think this is all I'm going to show you for now, but one thing uh, I want to do real quick, though, is we're going to save it, because that is something you need to know. If we go to this building, talk to this person, and we have record an invite. Invite... We can worry about that later. We can't do anything with it now, but let's record the game. It will it basically how you save and it tells you how much experience you need to get to the next level. I would recommend saving quite frequently, just in case you run into a battle that completely wipes you out. That way you don't have to spend money on resurrects or Phoenix Downs in this game. Oh, yeah. They're basically the Phoenix Down in the game. But we have saved it, and this is the end. I am a Cinebox. I will show you more on the next video. This is basically just my intro to the game right now, but we'll go over the rest of the game and I'll show you exactly how I play it. Thank you for joining me today. You have a wonderful day.